Ba-bam. I'm going to attempt to build this guy. The funny thing is, when I saw it online, I didn't realize how big it is. These are some of the parts. Can you see? And they are huge. I had to print some of the bigger parts on my old CR10, like these things. If you look at this, I used the fuzzy skin and it really looks really good. So CR10 is still good. The only problem is this guy. It took 20 hours to print on my CR10. And it was all covered with support because of the holes and I wasn't even sure I did it right with the fuzzy skin and support but it turns out to be great so there are about five pieces I had to print on my CR10 and the rest was printed on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini I printed the green one first and then I got another filament hey, look at that, look at the texture so I have all the parts to make this work I need to get the kit. This is a little tiny box which has screws and uh, ball bearings and something. So I don't know, I didn't open it yet. I don't even know if all the parts are there. And the rest is 3D printed. I have so many things I had to print. <laughs> so I'm not sure how this will go. So I'll attempt to build it following the video and we will see so all these things so these big pieces are from CR10 the five big pieces the small pieces they actually fit on A1 Bamboo Mini I found these extremely useful nail clippers perfect for working with 3D printing stuff so I have my 2 mm drill, 2.5 mm drill. So, super important, before you put these bearings there, you have to run the hole with 2.5mm drill, otherwise you will have to reprint it, like I'm going to do, just to get the bearings out. When you want it to break easily, then it doesn't break. Only when you don't want it to break, then it breaks all the time. Well, reprinting it, I'm not sure why the hole is not printed bigger now let's do it again
that's it it's done see you next time